Hi, Simon. Thank you for stopping by for an impromptu interview with Super User TV. Absolutely, Heidi. Thank you. Well, you've been with the community for a long time. I have. I uh, was part of the founding team of Ink Tank that built the Ceph distributed storage system that now has gone global and, and is doing very, very well. And then for the last four and a half years, I was CEO of DreamHost, which has built a big OpenStack cloud and, and so on. So it's been a fun ride. And the community here has been great at, in Austin. Yeah, and we have some news from you. Tell us what's new with you. I do. So I've been looking a lot at what the next phase of OpenStack is in during the summit and before the summit over the last few months. And what I'm finding is that OpenStack is really becoming a known platform, a known infrastructure around the world. And so increasingly there is a strong demand for services to implement OpenStack and to operate OpenStack at scale. And so I, uh, having known uh, the team at Aptera, which is one of the leading OpenStack implementation companies for quite some time and helping them out on it from an advisory perspective, I've decided to step in as executive chairman there to work with the team to help them scale the business globally. That's very exciting. What can we expect from Aptera next? So Aptera has uh, a lot of depth of customers and strength in Asia right now. Um, originally out of Australia, where I was originally from before coming to California. And uh, so part of its geographic expansion, uh, continuing in Asia and into Europe and then the US, but the other aspect as well is there's a lot of demand for um, getting applications, common applications running on top of OpenStack and building a lot of the software tooling such that that can be delivered very easily and quickly. So Aptera is going to be focusing quite a bit of development effort on a lot of the tooling around delivering a, a really seamless managed OpenStack experience. Thanks so much for sharing your news with us. Thanks Heidi, appreciate it.